We are gonna about to enter the bowl at Felker's Quarry here. Little history. This little ring, a land that's right. Let's just zoom in. Kind of that little hill there you see in the center of those trees, and then drops down to the cliff. Well, that's the glacial overburden that was removed. It was two to ten feet deep, and then the actual pit itself is anywhere from seven meters to fifteen meters deep. As you can see, it's also bit of a party hangout with a fire pit there. There's also some trenches in the area which I am unable to find at the moment but when I do I will bring you an update on those. Uh, in the meantime let's try going down here. Again if you ever come out and do this kind of stuff use caution. I do not recommend it so because it is dangerous there are falls and steep cliffs loose rocks so if you have not got any experience doing this kind of stuff and you do not know you're a hundred percent okay to do it do not do it Ooh, as you can see a little slip everything's loose because it's all loose limestone. <clears throat> okay, here we are getting to the bottom. And here we go. There's the first cliff. Which goes over there, goes around over there, round down, spills actually over the mountain brow, kind of right about there. Again, this mine oper was nobody sure when it operated and when it stopped. Uh, they basically know it's before records were kept. Uh, so at one point there was no trees here, nothing but machinery, lots of guys working. I guess this is the area, the southwest corner roughly, where they had actually stopped the operations. Nobody knows why either. Again, this mine kind of was a kickstart for Hamilton as one of the first businesses, from what I understand, to be out in this area. Definitely somebody's hangout spot. I did notice a number of tree forts and stuff in the area. But I want to find that hole. It looks like somebody dug out by hand. See if there's any goodies in there. 